Hello, y'all. It's still Tuesday the 17th at um 11.21 p.m. <clears throat> so tomorrow morning, probably early in the morning, this video will be uploaded. So, um... Tomorrow morning, the video will be uploaded. So, um, my anxiety is really high right now. <clears throat> and so, I'm on the verge, like, trying to fight back tears. Like, and my heart feels heavy about the, um... I'm sitting here wiping a few tears off of my eyes right now <clears throat> from the um dealing with the online gang stalkers. So um <clears throat> it's like So, yeah, my depression is getting worse. And, and they're hoping for something bad to happen to me. So now, I mean, I could have gotten more productive work done, you know, with my writing today. But then that J.E. perp, um, he, I saw videos that he was, in the comment section of other people's videos supporting them talking about their targeting. <clears throat> so, J.E., if he used to be targeted, he has now become a perp. So, <clears throat> I never did this J.E. person anything at all, ever. And him and Stefan Adams and the sex trafficker Darnell Williams and a few others have um tried to you know smear campaign and lie on me and discredit me and you know desperate to, to lie to people and tell everybody not to support me and falsely paint me as a bad person <clears throat> And then um, Stefan Adams and Star Bricker have been gossiping about me and smear campaign and slandering me on um, and twisting everything on um, on that fake ass TI watch blog website. So it's like. Stefan Adams has been stalking, following, and harassing Brian, too, for nearly two years. I mean, I'm sorry, nearly a whole decade. Five years is a long time to be stalking people, but I think he's been stalking Brian, too, for longer than five years. And then now, then he, they've been making fake documentation and stalking Kevin Christian, me, and also um, that Jacob Mills guy who they call um, Nappy Head Roots. <clears throat> so, I heard that, I, I mean, I don't know. It's like, <clears throat> it, how, how can you bully and stalk someone and think that you can control and correct their behavior from online when you're in a whole damn cult. You're a whole fake Mormon cult member, Star Bricker. Part of the fake Mormon cult. You're a cult, a satanic cult member. So if you're brainwashed in a cult, how dare you try to talk like you think that you're smart with such common sense? 
And then she lied on me and said that I threatened to murder her. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so, I mean, it's like, and she, call, she harshly calls me stupid at every opportunity. It makes it like I'm not that bright. So, um, it's like, so, so it's like they're going on that, um, that video that supported me and they really hate that I'm getting any support. So they try to falsely twist the narrative when they weren't there. And they falsely make it look like as if I'm the one who went up to those people harassing them. And what I told you, explained to y'all in previous videos, what really happened, the truth about what happened. The, the pure evidence of that guy terrorizing and stalking me. I told y'all that the police, um, they, they some kind of way got rid of. They remotely deleted that video for, off my phone or made the, my video disappear. That would have been even more, the most blatant evidence of, like, real tangible proof of that guy stalking and terrorizing me. And then he brought his friends later. So they must have used some black magic or witchcraft or something to make that video disappear. But God in heaven, seeing everything that's going on, and he knows everything that's going on. So I had to wait. Um, the video that I did earlier today. I had to wait about 11 hours to upload that video. I mean, for the video to thoroughly upload up here. So, um, one thing I hate about narcissistic abusers is they use the harshest, most brutal words to, to make you feel extremely bad. You know, and it's like, if I'm already battling depression and y'all still going to sit here and bully me even more, how sick and how sick and sadistic is that? You don't run my life. And if you wouldn't have started harassing me in the first place, I wouldn't need to be saying stuff like y'all need to go fry in hell. Y'all the damn criminals. <clears throat> so um I'm sitting here feeling like I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but ever since I was able to monetize my videos the the every single video of the last like seven or eight videos that I did they made it like it's not eligible for monetization I'm like, well, wow, that was quick. That was sudden and instant. I mean, I guess as far as the ads go. But um, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they might activate it later on or what. But um, I don't care. As I said, I'm just going to continue talking and acting the way I've been. You know, just continue speaking my mind. And continue to speak the truth. So. And they're sitting there. You know still falsely. Painting me as a mad woman. Crazy. Schizophrenic. And they don't even know me. You know. And they keep on insisting. About the lies. Saying that. Talking about a burned headlight. When I have. 
seen with my own eyes, plus have video evidence of perps switching their headlights, manipulating the headlights in front of my eyes. On new, how can it be a burned out headlight on a brand new ass car? I know, I mean, I'm not expert, but I have, I, I know some, you know, a little bit of how this technology works. I'm the one who's the victim suffering this. So, um, so, I mean, it's like, I'm, uh, it's like I had it my mind motivated to want to be so productive and do much more writing today until what I saw that J.E. was saying about me. And then hours later, Stefan Adams started saying false things about me. And so, um, and then I saw on the blog that Stefan Adams lied on me and said that I'm basking in 15 minutes of fame because I got support from that video. I'm like, well, wow, y'all hate me even having one supporter. You know, they're really hating on me having any support because they're desperate and working overtime to try to make sure that everyone hates me. Make sure it's their duty to make everybody hate me. And I'm tired of going back and forth, stressed out with this cyber tug of war, with just me against multiple online perps. It's very stressful. And all this abuse and everything is why I'm sitting here with eating disorders and everything. And then y'all abuse me even more, trying to call me greedy and everything. Yeah, I mean, as I said, like all these people bullying, stalking, and abusing me unprovoked, and I never did them anything at all. And I'm wrong for trying to fight back. And then people make it like for me to speak the truth that I deserve to be punished. And they make it like as if, well, if you speak the truth, then they think I deserve to be punished with expecting the backlash that's going to come with it or stay silent at all. Like as if I'm doing something wrong for speaking the truth and everybody want me to keep my mouth shut. But then, back then, everybody used to say that I'm a punk and that I need to learn how to stand up for myself and stop letting people walk all over me. Now I'm courageous, trying to be courageous and fighting back and it, quote unquote, gets me in trouble. And I'm convinced that almost everybody's a narcissistic abuser now. It's hard to find. It's like hard to find somebody who's not narcissistic and controlling and abusive. I didn't say everybody. I said almost everybody. Seemingly almost everybody. So... Me doing the video earlier, as I said, took me like, I think, 11 hours to upload. And I had to try to figure out and find other stuff to do. So, later on, I developed the strength. I thought I was going to get to take a nap today, but I couldn't even fall asleep. And so I, um, later on, I wrote a blog post and then I wrote a short story that I put my all into the short story. 
and my mind was somewhat clear enough to write a short story, but I'm somewhat disappointed in myself because I wanted the short story to be longer and I wanted I wanted it to have more dialogue, like more conversation, quoted conversation and talking. But, you know, then I come across the stuff that Stefan Adams was, was saying. Stefan Adams, what he was saying, you know. <clears throat> and so, Stefan Adams, I think, is a sociopath. I mean, you, as I said, you're a man and, and you're obsessed with another man's personal life. You, and Star Bricker is a married woman. Stalking and following with a single, everything a single woman does. A single homeless disabled woman. You're a married, dying, cancer case. I mean, a married, dying, cancer patient. You are a whole damn senior citizen. That's a dying cancer patient. That's bullying and stalking somebody. If you're just about on your deathbed. Why aren't you getting right with the real Jesus Christ rather than that fake Mormon cult? And 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 so they want to nitpick and point fingers and dissect and you know try to control other people's lives when their lives is flawed. You're not perfect, so stop trying to criticize my every move. So, um, but I had to realize on my own that Star Bricker herself is mentally unhinged and got multiple fucking personalities. Demon possessed. As I said, I never heard of sex traffickers being self-righteous, fake, and holier than thou. I mean, I knew they were fake, but to be self-righteous and holier than thou in order to cover up your actual criminal activity. So, I hate to deal with constantly every day dealing with being so fatigued and sleep deprived and lethargic and you know not having enough physical energy to function like normal now I'm always bogged down with this heavy weight on me and I never really get to get enough sleep And so, um, now they're trying to make my heart hurt, my chest hurt. <clears throat> so, sorry, I'm paused, y'all. Um, I'm fighting out. My, I'm fighting out unwanted intrusive thoughts. I'm trying as best as I could not to blurt them out dealing with my Tourette's. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I mean, as I said, the the online gang stalkers really think they got the authority to have power. They really think they have power over God's plan in my life. And they swear that they're more godly and more holy than I am. <clears throat> you know, and, I, and, and they refuse to, as I said, they refuse to, to respect my wishes to be left alone. And if you and, and and yeah, the narcissistic abuse and gang stalking and bullying, and and when I start striking back, it's the doggone reactive abuse. 
And, and I mean, I hate the um, level of false shame that they manipulate me into feeling, <clears throat> you, you know? <clears throat> so, I mean, and that if J.E. was not there, none of the online perps were there about what happened at Tulane Hospital, and I explained what happened. And what happened at Tulane Hospital had nothing to do with the video topic. And I wasn't even, it wasn't even my intent. I wasn't even trying to seek 15 minutes of fame. I didn't submit my video to those people, you know, but some kind of way, I don't know how they found my video, but thanks for the support and I'm glad for it because if it weren't for that, you know, I got like 1,080 something subscribers. And Star Bricker wants to hammer at the idea that all those subscribers are just waiting for a train wreck. That I'm just nothing but a train wreck waiting to happen. And Star Bricker keeps lying and saying that she never called the police on me. When in the past she was bragging and admitting that she did. I mean, I just cannot comprehend how senior citizens can act like fourth grade immature bullies and be compulsive liars. And then they want me to be fearful of them. Like as if they delusionally believe that they are above God. <clears throat> and Stefan Adams won't show his... He won't show his real face. He won't show his real face. And and I, I, I bet you start, I mean, Stefan Adams may not even be his real name. That might be a fake alias or a fake name. But I'm glad I'm in a hotel room right now because it's like it's like me being in a hotel room at the moment. It's like I'm psychologically, mentally, and emotionally trying to recover from the street gang stalking and harassment. <clears throat> you know, so um but I can't heal because of the uh, the cyber book, the cyber gang stalking. So if I'm, I mean, <clears throat> so I just, um, you know, they think they got the authority to dictate that my writing is not work and I shouldn't be allowed to make any money off of it. That I deserve to be punished with not being allowed to survive. So, you know, but I'm, I'm thankful and glad that a bunch of people took my side and defended me and that the video, I mean, and that those people had, um, you know, had a video supporting and defending me. I'm, th I'm th glad for that, you know. <clears throat> but Stephon Adams is falsely making it like as if I'm the one who sent those people the video just to get fame. But Stefan Adams, the star bricker and J E and Delanelle Williams, none of them were there. When those, when the incident happened with them terrorizing me with the music and they are gang stalkers, like the online perps, they are gang stalkers and they know damn well that those people in person with stalking and terrorizing me, but they get paid to discredit, paid to try to work hard to discredit and successfully turn everybody against me. So they keep on commenting on that, um, on that video in the hopes that the video uploader would change his mind about me and then start defending and agreeing with them. 
and turn away so the support and make I mean they have about half of the people in the comment section were well, trying to say stuff like that um you know the cop watch video they, they were trying to make it like as if they're sick and tired of hearing my voice or that there are a few screws missing or that um there's that they think that there might be pieces of the story missing. I'm like, well, they had a part one video. And plus, I did numerous videos explaining everything that happened. So if they think that, I mean, they falsely try to make like as if I'm just showing one thing and that I have something to hide. And they just want to try to look for holes or or an opportunity or an excuse to make me look like the villain or the criminal. What are you, if, if you are defending the cops, then what are you doing on cop watch channels anyway? What are you doing on cop watch channels anyway? If, if you um, defend and agree with the cops, I mean, those cop watch channels are is to expose new world order tyranny and the police brutality and the police acting like Karens and bullying, bullying, getting paid their you know fraternal order of the police bullying people out of society. They're getting paid to, their job is to bully, harass, and stalk and abuse people and beat people to a bloody pulp or shoot and kill people. Shoot and kill and tase pregnant 14 year olds. <clears throat> and then try to play like they're the victim. If you tase and kill a pregnant 14 year old, if you know damn well that you tase a 14-year-old pregnant black girl in the stomach when she's obviously eight or nine months pregnant, pregnant, and then you lie and say that, oh, I didn't know she was pregnant, or oh, you make up a fake story, distort evidence, and um, you, you distort or try to hide or tamper with evidence in order to make yourself look good and make the real victims look like the criminals. But I want to say that all the supporters from that cop watch video, thanks so much. It means a lot. It means so much for y'all to defend and support me. And y'all know this spiritual warfare and the spiritual battle to be fought. So I'm sick and I'm so sick and tired of everybody just trying to fix and control me and yet they hate me and if they keep complaining about stuff that's not their business and metal and stalking me and abusing me but at the same time they want to talk about candy complains about this candy complains about that but you have a problem with and complain about everything that's not that's not your business that I'm doing in my life and I'm 39 years old And, and, and so the um the fake TI perps that sold out and start to act more brutal than the regular perps, y'all deserve to be thrown under the bus, named, outed, and shamed and exposed just like the regular perps. Oh, you threw me under the bus. Well, don't act like a perp. And as I said, the fake T.I. perps that sold out, they go out of their way to be more brutal and more harsh than the regular perps. You know, um, which harsh and brutal enough. So I have the light off in the dark to, so that this video can upload faster, even though it's still going to take a long time to upload. So, 
I didn't need to ask for money yesterday. And I, I mean, but I did today, you know, if any donations, you know, I wrote a short story hoping that I can earn some tips and donations to get to stay here longer. And, um, you know, um, I, I mean, so not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, Thursday morning, I'm scheduled to check out and have to be back on the streets. So I'm going to have to try to ask for more help for more hotel room and food. Since I can't find permanent housing anywhere. Cannot find a place to live anywhere. They keep telling me my income is not high enough. And my social security check has been gone. By like the 7th or 8th of the month or something like that. Because of. No, I think it was by the 10th, 9th or 10th of the month. Because of the online, I mean, the um, in-person gang stalking and that, I mean, I mean, the the police incident, I told y'all that that was the noise campaign. If what they were doing was right, why did they turn their music down or turn it off when the police got there? And I'm tired of even freaking talking about this. So I have only one dollar and eight cents in the bank and probably seven dollars in paper money and probably under two dollars in coins. And Today, I had leftovers from dinner yesterday. I couldn't even eat the baby carrots. They just look so inedible. They look so gross and disgusting. So I just had the rest of the fried fish and those couple of two mini miniature chocolate chip cookies and a smaller brownie. That was all my, I mean, from what I ordered yesterday. That was the rest of from the food from yesterday. And then I had no coconut oil today. None at all. And then I had three slices of ham pizza for dinner. And I'm like, well, why? I'm still feeling hungry. So, I have five slices of pizza left, and that's all the food that I have. And I guess I'll eat three slices of tomorrow. And then I would hate to have to eat Pop-Tarts or a honey bun out of the snack machine. That's the only breakfast food they have in the snack machine, and that's junk. I don't even like strawberry Pop-Tarts. And I'm determined to not leave and go to the gas station. I don't care if it's right across the street. I'm, <clears throat> I, I, I'm not. I don't want to even want to leave out of this building tomorrow. Another day. I don't even want to live. I mean, I don't even want to leave out of this building tomorrow again tomorrow. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I need any and any and all the help that I could get. What time is it? It's eleven fifty five PM right now. <clears throat> and so um as I said, I, I'm I mean I'm sitting here just you, you know, as I I'm I mean as I said, it's a big battle that they're fighting harder to force me to not survive. And I'm extremely depressed and sad and feeling hopeless and scared. 
and trying to battle to stay off the streets and keep asking for help but more hotel room and ain't no permanent housing, ain't nothing affordable. They said my income ain't high enough, my social security check ain't high enough, and my social security check is gone, and the rest of the donation money, everything is gone, with the exception of a few dollars. So, because of the online perps calling the police on me, I basically feel totally kicked out of downtown and I'm feeling anxiety, fear and you know feeling scared about being back on the streets again workplace mob from every job that I get I'm done with employment the workplace mobbing is so bad that I'm done so I'm just going to try to continue with my writing and it seems like as if, as I said, talking to a brick wall on Twitter and hoping to get some exposure on TikTok at least. And it's like, I really, I, I mean, and they are really suppressing me. They are really suppressing me. And, um, you know, as I said, they're working hard to make sure nobody supports me. Even though they smear campaign, lie, manipulate, and twist with things when they weren't there. And think that they got authority higher than God to judge and condemn and punish. When they're the satanic, wicked criminals. And so, the same people trying to destroy me, they're sex traffickers. And they're delusional pimps. They delusionally believe that they're a pimp. And that's why they think that they treat me like a slave to be owned. A slave with no rights. And you're a regular human citizen with no authority to take away my rights. But you can grant rights to everybody else as long as they're doing evil and harm towards me. You can say that they have every right to blast loud music as they want. But if I eat a piece of fish, you'll have a meltdown. Like, I don't have a right to do that. I don't have a right to spend my money, my work money, on a Chilean sea bass dinner. But people can blast their music as loud as they want and be younger than me. Young, misguided-ass kids. <clears throat> so, I'm just, um, you know, need any and all the help and donations that I can get and try to stay afloat. And, you know, I'm trying to make my own living since, I'm wrongfully blacklisted from employment and, and wrongfully banned from just about everywhere in society because I'm targeted. And they're twisting the narrative to falsely make it like I'm a bad person. And, and it's like I'm feeling so devoured and beat down. That I'm fighting to, I'm, I'm exhausted and tired. And, and it's, I feel like as if I'm kicked down and struggling, kicked down and injured and struggling really hard to get back up and continue the battle, you know. And it's, a, it's an exhausting struggle. To try to fight to not give up. Trying to fight to not give up the battle. And I mean, I, I haven't been this depressed in a long time. And I still got some depression. And anxiety and upset and hurt. That's carried over from last year. And, and 2021. 
and, and it's like I'm sitting here feeling like, you know, you know, feeling like wishing I had somebody su to supportive to talk to, but at the same time scared to scared and feel like I don't trust anyone to talk to. So I'm just it really feels like as if um a big huge brick a big huge I don't want to say brick it really feels like um it, it really feels like as if an elephant or something like as if as if it's the weight of 20 elephants and 418 wheelers smothering me and bogging me down. <clears throat> and I mean, I wish I could write some novels and have some time off the streets and to have adequate food and um, toiletries. Like as if I'm living somewhere permanent. You know, if I could keep on having more help here. <clears throat> and, I mean, or if people can help me with the fundraiser to get me a permanent place. But then again, they were, run, they were bullying, torment me enough to where they would run me away from that whatever permanent place I get. Or leave it to where I have no choice but to leave and then end up back in the same cycle. And I'm very much sick and tired of people trying to judge and condemn like they delusionally believe that they are God or above God. And, and I'm tired of being like made to feel so bad, <clears throat> you know, So, um, it's like, I mean, I, I sitting here feeling like on the verge of crying and breaking down. And I'm sitting here feeling like I cannot take this suffering anymore. I really cannot take this suffering anymore. And it's, I, I'm, like too beat down to keep fighting, like too, too exhausted to keep battling and fighting. And I just need some freaking rest and for people to back off and leave me alone. And then people will do stuff like keep on ignoring my cries for help until after I'm dead. If I'm locked up in a mental institution or jail, they will say that I deserve it and then mock and laugh at me. But, and they'll still continue talking shit about me and bad mouthing me. But if I'm dead, then they will have fake sympathy. Or there's that cruel enough that they might even talk shit about me and think I deserve to die and say, well, oh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Or they be like, oh, I do not feel sorry for her. She brought it on herself. But if I'm not here to defend myself and you're just judging something from what you think you perceive that you saw rather than the underlying ongoing history and the truth about everything that's been going on. But... You know, I'm not here to explain the truth to people like the online perps who are stalking me. 
I'm here to explain the truth to my few little supporters and newcomers. And while wow, they're shocking and vibrating my right foot. It felt like as if they shot a, a, a remote electric vibrating gun in my foot. <clears throat> so all I would have tomorrow is just three slices of pizza. And I really don't want... I really don't want any Pop-Tarts. And I kind of don't even want to eat a honey bun either. At the snack machine. <clears throat> so, then Thursday I will have two slices of pizza. And I'm praying for more help crying out for more help to get to stay here longer and off the streets because I do not have anywhere to go now. That they run me off from every sleep spot that I can think of. And sticking the police on me like dogs. And I'm sticking to my story and sticking to the truth. And then <clears throat> the online perps, they're desperately working extra hard to try to Fake correct my truth with their lies and insert their lies when they when they're not authorized to do that. They don't have the authority or the business to do that, and they think that they can try to bully me and force me to get psychiatric help, and yet paint falsely paint me as a criminal and stalking and criticizing my every fucking move. And trying very hard to control me. And me fighting for my freedom. This is a damn war. And I'm doing it all by myself. With hardly any targeted individuals. To be in a listening ear. Or support me. Or defend me. And I'm disappointed. In how many professed targets have flipped. And sold out. And now they're either double agents playing both sides. Or they have become total perps. Like they've been re-educated. And if you've been hurt and targeted. And trafficked. Why the hell are you doing that to me? I'm defending and agreeing with sex traffickers. And calling me the nut. And a crazy person. <clears throat> so. I, I feel like y'all got to be some. Weak fake ass kissers. To defend and agree with wicked cops and gang stalkers. Y'all I'm one person. Battling up against an army of hundreds of people. And y'all call me the coward? That's not fair. And I mean, I don't even know how, how better to formulate my words to express myself to say even more. But I have more that I wish I could say, but... My brain is mushy right now, and I'm hoping to get to write some more tomorrow. And um, I'm hoping to get to write some more tomorrow and hoping to get more help with more nights of hotel room and food and avoid the streets. Because I don't know... If they're going to set me up for jail or a mental institution or death, outright death. And people make it like I don't have a right to be scared for my life. Or I don't have a right to fight for my survival and my existence. 
and, a, and, and you ought to be a damn shame. I mean, you ought to be ashamed of yourself to be a man bullying, stalking, harassing, trafficking, and abusing a woman, a single disabled woman. So, <clears throat> I'm just feeling, you know, as I said, I mean, I cannot take it anymore. It's unbearable. And I'm trying to not just let myself go and give in and just, you know, quit fighting to survive. I'm sitting here still fighting to survive. But it seems like, yeah, the narcissistic, abusive narcissistic perps telling me that I'm fighting a losing battle and that I'm a lost cause. And that there's no hope for me. And that I'm re irredeemable. But, but it's like anybody could fall victim to deception and mind control and be re-educated. And, and you know, I don't want to cave in. I don't want to let my life go. I'm not selling out. I'm not going to be your prostitute. And I'm not going to be a perp. And I get the same treatment like Jaguar Wright and Orlando Brown and others. Both of them have been set up and locked up in a mental institution for speaking the truth. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, I, I really hate the shame that they try to force you to feel that narciss abusive narcissistic perps want you to be feel as shameful as possible. That you gotta that you gotta be that obsessed with stalking me and then hating my guts and then feeling like I'm the worst person in the world when they have people way worse than me. Wow, that they, they vibrating my right foot with the directed energy weapons. I guess that's their signal to try to force me to shut up and stop talking. But my brain is not right right now because of not enough sleep, sleep deprivation. I mean, um, and I'm, I have over a thousand subscribers now. So, I really gonna block you bastards for trying to act like you think that you can be a newcomer and try to police and control how I act on my channel. Or try to tell me you should do this this way, you should do that. Giving, dishing out unsolicited advice and trying to be like, oh, well, next time, like they had this perp that can't, abusive narcissistic perp that try to say, well, next time you should stop pausing so much and stop breathing so hard. And next time don't do videos when you're exhausted and breathing hard. And then she tries to say, well, I really wanted to like your videos now, like, well, you have a complaint, that, then fine, I'll solve your problem for you. Block. Stop trying to tell me what to do and trying to control me. I mean, they freaking hit us with energy weapons. If they try to tell you, stop blinking my eyes, tell me, stop blinking my eyes. Well, 
that's my dog on um Tourette's. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't I'm not I don't want to try to sound repetitive, but I have the information in the description box of almost all of my videos. And I need any and all the help I can get. So, I'm going to go for now. <laughs>